view is tremendous. If you look at a globe, Earth may seem like a very big place. But we can divide it into sections, smaller parts that make it easier to understand. What are these sections? And what do they tell us about locations on Earth? Two of the most distant parts of the Earth are the poles. The North and South Poles are located at opposite ends of Earth. The North Pole is the part of Earth that is the farthest north. The South Pole is the part of Earth that is the farthest south. The North Pole is surrounded by the Arctic region. The South Pole is surrounded by the continent of Antarctica. Seals, whales, and penguins live here. Even though they are far away from each other, the North and South Poles have some things in common. Their climates are similar. They both get very cold. Climate is the weather patterns in one place over a long period of time. And the poles are both places where Earth's lines of longitude meet. Lines of longitude are imaginary lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. Lines of latitude are imaginary lines that run from east to west around the world. Lines of latitude and lines of longitude help us divide Earth into sections. Another imaginary line runs through Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole. It is Earth's axis. Earth spins on this axis once every 24 hours. As Earth spins or rotates, some parts of it face the sun and have daylight. Other parts face away from the sun and have nighttime. Two other lines help us divide Earth. The equator is the line of latitude that circles the middle of Earth. The prime meridian is Earth's main line of longitude. These lines, the equator and the prime meridian, allow us to divide Earth into hemispheres. A hemisphere is one half of Earth. The equator divides Earth into two hemispheres. The northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. North America is in the Northern Hemisphere. South America is mostly in the Southern Hemisphere. We can also divide Earth along the Prime Meridian. The half of Earth west of the Prime Meridian is called the Western Hemisphere. The half of Earth east of the Prime Meridian is called the Eastern Hemisphere. The eastern and western hemispheres meet at 180 degrees longitude. So, in what hemispheres is the United States located? If you divide Earth at the equator, you see that the United States is in the northern hemisphere. If you divide Earth at the prime meridian, you see that the United States is in the western hemisphere. Different parts of Earth have different climates. Some places are hot, and others are cold. Some areas get much more rain than others. One factor that affects an area's climate is how the sun shines on Earth at different latitudes. If sunlight shines on a place directly, it will be warm. If it doesn't, it will be cold. Most of the places around the equator have warmer climates because sunlight shines almost directly down on them throughout the year. The North and South Poles have colder climates because the sun's rays hit those areas at an angle and bring little warmth. The region of Earth with some of the warmest climates is called the tropics. The tropics extend from the Tropic of Cancer, the northernmost point where the sun shines directly overhead, to the Tropic of Capricorn, the southernmost point where the sun shines directly overhead. Each of these lines, the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn, the Equator, and the Prime Meridian, help us locate places on Earth and look at only a part of a very large place.